In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Paint Photoshop action. Ok, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the action. So I'm going to create from this photo, I'm going to create this effect using this action. Ok, so as you can see what the action does, it will turn your photos into the realistic painting effects. Uh, there are a lot of options for customizing this effect, you can customize how uh, much detailed uh, paint you want to be some uh, parts of your photo, uh, how thick or thin brush you, you would like to be for uh, painting uh, effect that's used and uh, also you can uh, add, uh, you can choose from 10 different uh, color looks to add to your photo. Ok, so let's just, uh, just gonna show you a few more examples that have made using this action. Ok, so for this photo I created this. Ok, that's it, so let's get back to our photo. So I'm just gonna uh, close this window. So uh, when you open up your photo, there are a few things that you should check before you play the action to make sure that the action runs without any errors. So the first thing you should check is that your photo is a background layer. So it should be called a background and have this uh, lock icon. Okay, so if it's something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and choose background from layer. Also click on the little arrow here and go to the panel options and just make sure you get these add copy to copy layers and groups option checked. Go to image mode and make sure your photo is in RGB color mode 8 bit kennel and check the image size. So the image size uh, should be at least 1500 pixels uh, wider height for the best results and uh, it should uh, it must not be uh, larger uh, than 400 pixels wide in height. Okay, so uh, the 400 pixel is the maximum size that your photo should be. Okay, so either wide or height must not exceed this value, and the resolution can be from uh, 72 to 300. Okay, just click OK. So to load the action, just go to Window Actions and click the little arrow here. Go to Load Actions and just choose the action that can be downloaded. So you still got the three actions here: Paint, Textures, and the Adjustments. Okay, and then go to Window uh, Brush Presets and click on this little arrow here, load brushes, or to load the brushes, and just choose the brushes that can be downloaded. And uh, the brush will appear here in your brushes panel. And all you have to do now is to just select the paint action and click on the play button. And I'm going to fasten the video here and get back to when the first uh, message pops up, okay? Okay, so here we got a first message and it says, now you need to make right settings for the tool that is selected by the action. So it's a set area to uh, 500 pixels. Okay, this is the area. Uh, set tolerance to zero pixels, and set style to tight long. So you just need to make sure you make these correct settings. So you just uh, choose stop to proceed. So just change this tight long area. Just click and drag to 500, and tolerance is set to zero. So we got the uh, right settings. So just click play again, and I'm again going to fasten the video here and get back uh, when the action is finished. Okay. And it says the action has finished. Now, after you finish with customizing of painting look, just play the textures action. Okay, just gonna click stop. And uh, let's see what we got here. So, we got uh, two groups here. Uh, just turn them off for a second. Uh, so, this is the base painting. Okay. And I'm gonna turn on the add details. And uh, each next layer uh, will make your uh, paint a more detailed. Okay. Uh, it will use thinner brushes. As you can see, okay. So what you can see, uh, what you can uh, do, for example, uh, you guys here add small details. So this will make even uh, more uh, a thinner brush. And as the brush is thinner, actually the more details will be visible. Okay. And uh, for example, if you don't, if you like, uh, you want to use these uh, thicker brushes. Okay, you can just simply turn off the layers, some of the layers. Okay. Or what you can also do is, for example turn them on, like uh, all like this, but select this layer mask and with uh, uh, take a brush tool, pick some soft brush and set from color to black. For example, just brush like this. So 
on that areas now uh, this layer with uh, this thin brush will not be visible you see it will be visible the layer above it this one and if you select the layer mask of this one and again brush of those same areas then on that place will be visible this layer so uh, that areas will have uh, less detail okay so for example Jack, you can just uh, brush in the background to make the background uh, less detailed than the subject like this okay and uh, we're just gonna leave the uh, default text settings and what we got here are the uh, add small details layers okay we got the two layers and they got a layer mask so they're uh, not visible and what you have to do is to select the layer mask like this pick a brush tool set program to the right and just brush over the areas that you wish to uh, make uh, uh, even more with uh, thinner brushes and uh, more details so we're just what I'm going to do I'm gonna brush like this so I'm just gonna brush into the edges to make the subject uh, stand uh, stand out a little bit more just like that okay just like that and just gonna brush a little bit so you, you basically just brush uh, uh, on all areas that you wish to make uh, they have a uh, more visible details. We can just set foreground color to black to uh, uh, to remove the details on the areas that you like. So just gonna brush a little bit more here. Just gonna brush like that. More here. Okay. So when you turn it off and on, you'll see how it brings the uh, the details. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, select this layer mask, and this uh, when I brush here white to this layer mask, it will bring the details even more, so they will be even more visible. Okay, to make them, uh, it will use the thinner brush. Uh, it will be paint. Uh, it will uh, be painting with the thinner brush, and the details will be uh, even more visible. So I'm just gonna brush uh, over some details, just like that. Okay, and after you finish with customize the painting look, uh, all you have to do is to play the texture section. Okay, so just gonna play it and fasten the video again here, and get back when the message pops up. Okay, okay. So here we got a message, and it says the action has finished. After you finish with customize the textures, just play the adjustments action. Choose stop to proceed. So you're just gonna uh, choose stop, and. Uh, you see that now we got uh, uh, these two uh, layers, a uh, long layer and the group more here. So this is a textures group and you got uh, uh, five textures uh, to choose from here. So you can just, all you have to do is to simply turn on the texture and then uh, play uh, play with the uh, opacity. Okay. So to just uh, is gonna make something like this, okay? And uh, you can choose uh, any texture here, okay, that you like. And I'm going to use the half tone texture more. So, and each of these textures are the smart objects, so they get a smart filter. So, for example, you want to use this one? You can just double click here into filter gallery, and here you can make changes the, the texture so I'm just going to create this size for example something like this I'm just going to leave the contrast and click OK OK so you can see the you can see the difference uh, and uh, I'm just going to lower the opacity something like this OK and uh, what we got here is the embos effect OK it will make these uh, painting much more realistic and uh, it's also a smart object so you got a smart filter you can just double click here and uh, here you can change the angle of the embos effect you can change the height and the amount and I'm just gonna leave this uh, let me demonstrate you how it looks but I'm just gonna uh, use the this default settings that you actually made okay and all you have to do now is to play the adjustment action so I'm just gonna Fasten the video here again and back uh, get back when this uh, action is finished. Okay. Okay. So the action has just finished. So first, I'm gonna close the actions panel, 
and the uh, first thing that you'll probably want to do is to quickly close down all these folders and how to quickly do this is to sel uh, while this group is, is selected and it will be automatically selected by the action just hold control alt and shift for pc or command option for a mac and just click on this letter here okay that close down the folders so you can actually already customize all these layers here and what you need to customize more are the adjustments so first what we got here are the fine sharpening layer Okay, so this layer is giving some fine sharpening, so it will actually sharpen the uh, small details. And uh, you can just click on where the opacity and uh, drag it aside. Okay, so you can uh, uh, change the uh, uh, sharpen amount. Okay, so we're gonna use something like this, maybe a little bit more. And uh, this is the uh, hard sharpening layer. So it's giving a little bit of contrast as well. And just gonna increase it a little bit like this. Okay. Uh, this is the overall brightness. So we're gonna double click here. And you can just move these three pointers and um, change the uh, brightness. So just gonna drag this pointer a little bit like this. Okay, this is the overall vibrance, so we double click here, in this panel you can change the uh, vibrance and the uh, saturation. Okay, so I'm just gonna make something, something like this. And this is the uh, overall contrast, so you just click on the opacity and control the contrast that way and you can see this is pretty much a sensitive okay so we're gonna use something like this and this is a photo tint so when you double click there you can just increase the density you can try different filters here okay I'm not going to use the photo tint now and here we got a color look so you got the 10 color looks to choose from and all you have to do is to select some color look see how it looks if you don't like it try with another until you find the one that goes the best with your photo and you can also combine a few color looks for example you turn on this one or it's past it like this and turn turn on let's say this one and also where it's opacity so you make some uh, combination of the uh, two color looks okay and uh, we're just gonna use we're gonna use this one here okay just gonna lower its opacity a little bit something like this okay so that's it I'm pretty much happy with the effect and uh, let's just quickly check the before and after so from this effect we got this okay so I hope you understood everything but if you still need any help or you got any questions feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page thanks for watching bye